Okay, I'm back. <clears throat> so you saw me with my pretty face. Now I'm back to my pretty face. This is just my natural beauty. <laughs> with some help. So, we're going to go with the next fall trend. Are you guys ready for this one? It is a matte face with a very light eye. So, I'm going to um, start by covering up my face and seeing how I've put on, taken off my makeup a couple times. I'm actually going to start hitting my face with um, a darker color underneath. Like so. Then this time I'm kind of in a hurry, so to speak, so I can show you guys how um, easy these looks are to achieve without using hardly any product or tools. Okay, so I'm just going to go back to old school and use my hands. These are going to be your um, blending tools for today. When was the last time? Or do you guys apply your makeup with your hands? I do on occasion. <laughs> so, and then, that's only because I have nine, one, two, three, four face brushes that I just love to use because they're so awesome. And soft and they blend amazingly. But if you have questions about any of the, the tools, comment below because we could spend days going over those. Because I just, oh. I really don't understand. I am a makeup freak. <laughs> okay, so. My chin is doing horrible these days. Stop the chocolate, Daniel. Okay, so there. I've got my BB cream on. Okay. It seems how we're going for a matte look. We don't want any of the dewy look. I'm going to go over my face with our concealer powder. And this is a loose mineral base. Mineral concealer. And this is just going to help take the, um, the shine out from the BB cream. Because the BB cream, BB cream, again, is a tinted moisturizer. So boom, I have taken out the shine. So super, <clears throat> super fast so far, right? And then next is a super light eye. I'm doing my makeup because it's sitting in the sun. Oh, that's another trick, ladies. I don't know if you guys have windows in your bathroom or not, but if you do, try not to keep your makeup where the window hits if the sunlight comes in because um, it dries out your makeup faster, just in case you didn't know. So. Um, and then it's a light eye, so I'm going to mix a little bit of my Vulnerable, which is super light pink. It's a real pale pink when you go to put it on. And then our um, Naive, which is a gray. I'm going to mix both those in the lid so it kind of comes out like a smoky pink. But it's going to be a really light smoky pink. Because I'm using two of our lighter, lighter, like, base coat colors, <clears throat> really. So I'm going to use the um, lighter shader brush, and I'm going to use the shader end of it. And I am going to get it wet, because I want it to stick. Sorry, I had to send my daughter off to get me some food to eat. <laughs> so again, I got my colors. I got them mixed in here with my pink and my gray. And then I squirted my brush with some rose water just to get it damp, because uh, I like it to stick to my lids better. And then just dab it on. And I say dab because with mineral makeup, you want to push it into your skin. Because that's how it stays on. Better. And longer. And always prime. Prime, 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 prime. I don't think I can say that enough. So you see how it kind of gives it that smoky pink look? And then bear with me because I'm going to lighten it up a little bit more. And you just keep it on the lid. You can tell that one got a little bit more pink. I'm going to use just a little more of the, the naive alone to go over. Because that's probably too dark for this whole light eye from what I'm looking at. So boom. There is your matte face. No blush, no lips. 
I'd probably go with a clear lip gloss though because I don't know many people that can go without any lips. So that is what you got for your next fall trend. And I'd recommend wearing some mascara because again, these fall kids, it must be for kids. It's for kids. Because I know me, I need more makeup right here. <laughs> so anyway, any questions, you guys let me know and uh, stay tuned for the next fall trend.